Hello everyone, and welcome to my Pokemon Diamond playthrough part 23. Well, I fiddled around with my mic as much as I could. This is the best it's gonna get, but um, I just need new, I just need a really better, like these are like the cheapest ones at like Walmart, Target. I got a really cheap one at, first someone gave me one. Then I had a really cheap one at Walmart and that broke. And then this one I got the cheapest one at Target and it's still like crap. Fantastic. But anyway, so I'm going to speed this part up because I'm like looking around. I'm like, ah, uh, I know there's a person that gives you the HMD fog. The reason why I decided to go back and get it was because I just, I did not want to go through that place and, um, and have like, oh, your Pokemon missed because it's foggy and it's like, I'll be just annoying and yeah. So now I'm just going to teach Defog to not Starly. And, um,. Yeah, so now I'm going to fly back to uh, Salishion. I ride my bike. Nee, 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 nee. No, I'm just kidding. Up to there and then use the fox. See, it's really not that bad, but, you know, I just don't want to keep missing my attacks over and over again. Okay. So, let's see. I'll talk to this guy. I uh, click clear up to what? Do you fog? Where are we the weeds to blow the frog away? Sorry, I just completely mumbled what he said. Anyway, so this giant bump in the ground attacks me, and he's like, I just startled you while you're still struggling to recover. I will be the winner. I'm like, wow, you're a creeper. So anyways, Joel says that was the bet I could have Rico. And I'm just going to spark it to that thing. Oh, yeah, there's Zubat. I think. Uh, yeah, there's another Zubat. And I'm just going to spark it to death. So boring. Blah, blah. Um, I can't remember much. <laughs> oh, it's Golbat, and um, I'm going to rape this Golbat after he's wing attack on me. Sure, go ahead. Spark dead. Bad. Golbat should have like intimidate because I'm. If I saw someone with their mouth that big, like, what? Mm, Sixty percent of their body is like mouse probably more like 70% of their body is mouth I'd be pretty intimidated so now he's a scropey I was really thinking about getting a scropey um just because I'm a Scorpio like yeah because yeah uh, just, yeah <laughs> yeah so if you guys like I don't know I could replace Kadabra because you know he's not really a Shano Pokemon but he's my favorite like well not my favorite my second favorite but you know what I mean so if you guys maybe think I should go all Shino, yeah, or should I keep Houdini in my party? Or maybe I should replace Houdini with Uxie, because Uxie's not really considered an Uber, obviously. But, I don't know. Anyways, give me your opinion on that, and let's beat the crap out of this woman, because she's not in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> but then you're like, but Jess, shouldn't we be beating the crap out of you because you're not in the kitchen? Well, you don't know if I'm narrating this in the kitchen or not. And I will stop with the women joke. <laughs> um, sorry for anyone that took any offense to that, but I just, I don't know. It's whatever. So Miko's, like, getting burned everywhere, and this ponytail's like, Ponyta! Whatever, not really. But, um, um, I use bite and kill it off. Yay! <laughs> so, now, she's gonna set out a grotel, and I'm gonna set out a playboy. <laughs> So, um, I, was, I go for the jump kick does that much. I'm like, wow, that really did nothing. Uh, and now I go for the drain punch. Yeah, drain, punch, mega, drain. We are just like, we, me and Playboy and that Grodel are like a part of each other. Because she, Playboy is punching it and draining it. And then it's mega draining out of Playboy. So in a way they exchanged essence and bodily fluids. And so wouldn't that be considered kind of, you know. <sighs> okay, anyways, I'm done. <laughs> um, so I try to kill this thing and I can't and I get bitten to death. And I'm like, no, why did I freak it a I mean, okay, I know there's snapping turtles that can bite the tips of your fingers off, but really had to kill one of my Pokemon, so I'm just gonna ancient power this thing to death. And sharp tooth is just like because he's a sharp tooth. So I win So, um yeah, I'm like, oh jeez. 
Um, yeah. Do I have any revives? Alright, let me look. Uh, no, I don't think they'd be in here, but... Dang it, so I'm just gonna make a quick stop to the Poco Center! Okay, I'm back! <laughs> I just decided to edit that out, because I ran, had to run all the way back and heal, all the way back. And then, yeah, that took like a big chunk of video out. But, anyway, so I'm gonna fight these two, and, um... Watch this. I'm gonna use everything you've taught me. Here comes the trainer, Zach. You ready? Let's do this. I should totally be a a um a voice actor because I'm so good. Okay, so I'm sorry that probably like annoyed the piss out of some of you. <laughs> anyway, so Mr. Mugu gets absolutely raped by that dragon rage. <laughs> and um, I destroy that. The Raichu's just like sitting there being like, I um. And I take a website. What to do? It's gonna thundershock. Sure, that did nothing. And it's gonna tail at me. Whatever. I'm gonna strength. That's not gonna quite get. I'm gonna get paralyzed. And then Mr. Mugu's gonna cut that Raku down to size. Not Raku. Raichu down to size. Um. Yeah. So now I need to uh, um to paralyze the heels. It'd be Parla's heel, and um, here we go. Now, hmm, let's put Playboy in the front, sure. Why not? And let's go up here. And oh, goody, it's a trainer! He takes forever to come and approach me. See, I'm confidence. Let's just get this justified. Um, sure. So, Ernest has a Motham. Ernest, what a name. And I have Playboy, and she's gonna return in the slowly getting there. But then I don't get confused. I'm like, really? Whatever. <laughs> so I use a prison berry and then he's gonna use silver wind. I'm like, okay, maybe he'll go for confusion. And my fridge is making weird noises like <laughs> I think it's odd. And I use a silver wind again and play with dice. That'll make her love me more for sure. Anyways if you hear like <laughs> in the background or whatever, like ears flopping around dog ears flapping around, it's because I use him power rock and love him. No, not really. But, um, it's because he's having a bit of an earache, and I just cleaned them, his ears out. He, I have a dachshund, and, um, I just cleared his ear. I'll post a video about him. You'll see. Um, and I just cleaned his ears out, and he's been shaken because he doesn't like it when I do that. Anyway, so I just spent a long time talking to you about my dog. He is the happiest dog you will ever meet. And his name is Oscar. Just thought you guys might like to know. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, I completely destroy him. And now he has an Onyx. And I'm like, go, Sonic! And he's like, hi, I'm Sonic. Even though Sonic would never really do that. Oh, guess what, guys? I got to take a Genesis when I was away. And it doesn't work. Um, seriously? It really doesn't work. I was so excited. Paid 20 bucks for it. Didn't work. I got it off eBay. and But you know what? I'm going to do something to it to make it work. I will make it work because I have Sonic 2. It's like begging for me to be... Or no, it's begging me to play it. And uh, I miss old Sega games. I really do. Childhood memories. This is not even a narration. I am so sorry, guys. Okay. Let's get this focus. Okay, he has a Machoke. I have a Sonic. This is going to be stolly because I'm going to keep using Water Pulse, and he's going to identify my flower on my head. Okay, so, but yeah. I remember three games in particular, four, I really liked. Sonic 3, Sonic 2, um, The Lion King, and this one that's so fun, even though it doesn't even sound fun, but it really is fun. Oh, I beat the Machoke, by the way, if you haven't, if you aren't watching him. And uh, this game called Dash and Desperados. So great. So I'm thinking, should I get that item? Should I really go get that item? It's a, it's um, it's a um, what's the word? The possibility. But I don't, th I don't think I'll go get that item. I will not brave. <laughs> I said brave <laughs> over there. So I'm just gonna fight this uh bird keeper lady, and I'll teach you the charms about bird Pokemon. And I was like. What? So she, Brianna, Brianna, whatever, has hoot hoot, and um, it's like, look at me, I have one leg, I'm gonna steer right into your Pokemon's soul! Yeah, 
because <clears throat> that's what it liked to do. Well, I completely butchered the English language there. Anyways, um, so Naya has a knockdown. She has a knockdown. Sorry. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep using ancient power. Good thing I healed my Pokemon, or else, like, yeah, I wouldn't have enough. So he's gonna give me food. <laughs> It's going to use confusion, and uh, um, it's going to take that down, and, um, yeah, so I use assurance. I'm like, I will assure you, Jesus will save you, and Noctowl's like, oh, and dies. So, um, anyways, um, I'm like, oh, I don't really want to fight anyone. <laughs> Good thing old men can't see. So I made it past there, and now I am in Celestic. Town, I will go back fight the old man and get that item because it's bothering me. So I will go do that next time. Okay, I will catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye.